Oh, okay. Uh, Alexandria by the sea. Hey. Cool. <laughs> Um, Mark's from Canada. He lives in Northern Ontario. Um, Adam is from Saskatchewan and he lives in Toronto. I like walks on the beach and I read quite novels at night. <laughs> long watches, uh, long wa walks on short beaches. Uh, all right. Uh, you can see that there is a procession. That is yep. being led. You actually see the uh, Sindara um, uh, par as part of the procession. They are um, uh, escorting what looks like a coffin into the goblin cave. Okay. Look like a short short coffin, <laughs> short wide coffin, <laughs> like a box. It, it, it is a Great. short wide box. Uh, it, it looks like. Uh, it has some strong ornamentation to it. Like, it, it's it been lovingly carved. It's not, like, just a pine box that they slap the thing into. You do yeah. see that some goblins are carrying the magical uh, horse chopper. Mm. Like, you recognize the weapon of the beer, of the dwarf. Yeah. Okay. They're going into the cave. The cave is deep. There's lots of goblins. Are you flying into the cave? Yeah. <clears throat> Is it weird for a bat to be in a cave? <laughs> no. But you're hiding while doing it? Give me another step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. Um, uh, 48. Okay. The cave um, has a very large central chamber just, just, at the, just beyond the entrance, and then there are lots and lots of side tunnels. Uh, Sid has now learned that the Goblin Cave probably connects with the sewers somewhere. You you catch the stench from uh, from the sewers. It could be from the goblins. Ooh! Uh, but they do go into a back chamber, uh, and they simply put his his uh, uh, the the uh, coffin onto like a stone ledge. Okay. You can see Mama Bloodbear is kind of standing at the ledge waiting. She's got a bit. Oh, she's, of, she's, the, she's the caster. Oh, what does she look like? She what is, does she look like? She <laughs> is massive and has this rose full of awful looking teeth. Give me a perception check. Okay. She's got a little bit of what looks like grape jelly that is spilled over the sides of her mouth. Might not be grape. Might be like strawberry. Uh, 16. Okay. Yeah, she just looks really rotund and mean. Um, she's got a cape, maybe some spell components at her at her belt, but she's standing is, there, is there waiting. A picture of her somewhere? Or? Yeah, we're on Vatapol map. Oh fuck! I'm I'm a little north. Like, there we go. There we go. So, oh my god! What so, a crazy So let me bitch. let me zoom out a little bit. So the the queen the goblin queen's house is here, which is a nice manor. The House of the Grim Goblin is a ramshackle place where, like, goblins pretend to live like humans. And then there's a deep cave that leads uh, uh, kind of underneath the uh, underneath the city. They might actually go into the city. It could be oh, a uh, uh, it could be a uh, a defensive flaw in the city itself. But Mama Bloodbear, she's just waiting for the sarcophagus to return. I'm not getting close to her. I'm keeping my distance, like a hundred feet or whatever. <laughs> Is there any light here? She she nods and bows to Sindara. Sindara basically has a palanquin that is being that is being uh, 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 carried along by two ogres. You notice that v looking very defeated is their champion. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> uh, he just has his, he just has his head. Known. He's 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 kind of like following behind like a whip dog. He's got his head down. Oh, he, he's. He's seething in anger, though. Like, you, you could tell that you've made an enemy this day. They cheated! So did I, but they cheated more. So I'll put their tokens down. Okay, Mama Bear looks fucking weird, man. What's with those teeth? Yeah, her teeth are all fucked up. It's just uh, goblins and hobgoblins can be, like, mutated, is what you're guessing. Okay. Knowledge nature? About hobgoblins? Or about bugbears? Whatever she could be, yeah. Sure. Mm. 
No, no. Oh, some kind of goblin. Gob goblins are ugly, and she's one weird ass goblin. One ugly bugbear. Um, bring him home is what she says. Bring him home. Put him here. Shitbeard has laid low. But maybe the gods and spirits will see his return. Yes, I'm very curious of that myself. My goblins, do not fear. Our gods, the true gods, the gods of the under realms, the gods subterranean. The goblin gods? Yes, dear, the goblin gods. Yeah! The goblin gods, and those that we call out to, they will bring back mighty shitbeard. <laughs> Though we do not know what form he may take. Are we going to kill the humans that did this? Not here. Only in the arena, my sweets. Only in the arena can we spill their blood. And yet there's a bunch of laughter. Oh, only the ones that they drop off at our at our cave. Remember, we must pretend to play by their rules. Yes, we are good at pretending. I'm a guard! And everyone laughs. Whoever they drop off at our cave. Huh. Okay. Sid's gonna remember to hang out at the cave and see who drops what off. I am sorry for losing. Uh, he's speaking in Orcish. Do you speak Orc? First off, do you speak Goblin? Uh, let's see. Goblin. A halfling, gnomish, Stygian, Imperial. Um, my int. I don't. I don't have a lot of. I didn't put language. I only put my int is plus six, and I only have uh, one, two, three. I, have, I only have four languages. So let's have I, a look here. Yeah, I'm missing language. I didn't. I didn't do that part properly. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get to that. Should have. Just didn't. Let's look at Sid. Feralar. Didn't know he had a last name. Uh, linguistics. You've got one rank, and then your int without modifiers is twenty-two. Wow. Really? Uh, int. Uh, I have an int item. Okay, that in Wait, items uh, do not grant do not grant uh, bonus. Languages. They don't grant bonus skills. So or they don't grant. Language. Yeah, exactly. So you have an int of twenty, which is five languages plus your starting language. So you should have six: Imperial Common, Stygian Common, Halfling, Gnomish, and then you've got two more. Two more. Um. No, no, two more because of uh, five. Five, your starting language is six, and then one for linguistics seven. So halfling gnomish. I don't. I don't mind if you pick goblin. It's not a big deal. Uh, goblin. I'm just wondering where he would be. Like, would he have always been on this world or other worlds? Would he have? Been, uh, he's always on this world. Language? He's from Cantaport. He's from. He's from the. Um, uh, from the city that was run by the. Um, the Nizumi. The rat people. Okay, so is there a language for Nizumi? A Nizumi language? Yeah. Okay, he'll Nizumi. have he'll know that. Nizumi. One, two, three, four, two, three. five, six. Um, who else would interact with the Nizumi? Um, he. It sounds like he would know a lot of the under like class languages. Yeah, he doesn't sound like he would like whatever. The, the dirty, the dirty ones. <laughs> Orc and giant, maybe. Uh, okay. Or uh, okay, so dwarven. One, two, three, four. Uh, is is there a not a dwarven one, but a um? It's a dark dwarf called. You only have one more. Okay, orc. Orcish. Yeah. Sorry. One, two, three. Okay, four, so you understand. Five, six, you understand what uh, uh, what she's saying. Uh, they're having a conversation in orcish. Okay. I did not mean to fail the house. You are lucky to be alive, Cain. We'll have to find a suitable punishment for you. Mm. 
He just he just nods. We will get our vengeance against them. We will not take this lightly, that they killed one of ours in a in a subdual match. It should have been a fight to the death. If it was, you would be dead. And we couldn't have that now, can we? Although, a champion that loses too many times won't be a champion any longer. They cheat. There is no way that Magnus is of the tier that he says. There is no way that he is a mere veteran. Uh, what tier did you say you are? Yeah, fuck the fire. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh... Third, I was fourth level when he did. Oh, sorry, wrong character. Magnus is see. currently is currently marked as no, it's on the big the big sheet. Okay. Uh, Magnus is a blooded. <laughs> I'm blooded. A blooded yeah. tier. Um, yeah. Definitions of blooded is 3rd through 5th level, Veteran would be 5th through 7th, and Heroic is 8th through 10th. You up-punched two tiers above. He is no blooded. He may not even be a veteran. He needs to be tested again immediately. Yes, and when we find out that he is Heroic, or perhaps even Legendary, <laughs> snorts at that, then we will have perhaps a legal interesting i'll keep it in mind you're still getting punished though <clears throat> he kind of sulks off to the side how long mama blood bear she says in goblin how long before shitbeard returns to us if the gods are willing he will return in a day and night <laughs> but then he must stay close to his body nothing must happen to it how long will he be vulnerable? Seven turns of day and night. We must guard his body. Listen up, you little sweetlings. Ah, yes, this queen, queen's going to speak. Shh, shh, shh. We must guard Shitbeard's body. All of you are now guards. All of your duties are suspended. You can all get weapons, and you guard his body. If anything happens to him, I will be very angry. And feed some of you to Mama Bloodbear. Or make you fight wizards in the arena. <laughs> oh, she's horrible. She's like the Imperium. <laughs> if anyone comes into this cave that isn't one of us, you have my permission to kill them. Yeah! Sid feels like he's one of them. He's like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> He's flapping his wings. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you're hiding in, you're hiding in the shadows. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay alright this is very interesting information alright more and more goblins are coming in from the house of the grim goblin pretty soon the news is spreading that they're all guards they're all some of them are going deeper into the caverns and showing up with more weapons okay so he's he's mapping it out in his head okay so this is what a map cave looks like this is what the, uh, this is where the weapons are <laughs> In the meantime, we must have Shitbeard return to us. You know how valuable he is to our plans. She switched to Orcish, which you also understand. Mm, I understand. Get yourself fixed up, and then return here. You will be the first amongst all of them to guard. Very well. I know what it means. To our plans. Sid's wondering where the treasury is just by... <laughs> huh, if everyone's guarding here... <laughs> Alright, uh, so he, he, he goes off somewhere. Um, I don't know if you're following. He goes she off spend, somewhere? She spends some time like, doling out little candies to the, to the goblins. 
Yeah, Sid's gonna Sid's going to uh, follow this gentleman, see where he goes. So she's doing something. She's doing some bullshit. So, flap. Um, they said whoever drops whatever gets dropped off at our cave gets eaten, right? Whoever whoever they drop off, we can eat. We have to pretend to play by the rules. Huh. Okay. Um, Sid's gonna follow the the champion. Okay. He does go to the house, the the Goblin Queen's house. He goes inside. Okay. Is there are open windows. You can probably fly in. Um. Uh. Whoa. Yeah. What? What's wrong? Dude, not cool. Just give me mm -hmm. a second. Yeah, give me a second. I'm hunting through oh. windows. Sure. What is the command for that? <clears throat> Normally Adam does the moderation. He's not here. Sorry, I was away for a moment. That's all right. You handled it. <laughs> what? What is it? Just slash timeout? Is that what the? Uh, I just click is? on the name and I time them out. Oh, okay. If you if yeah, you want to come back in ten minutes and be a little bit more chill, that's it's up yeah, to you. Yeah. But uh, I was making a sandwich and I had to check the chat and the whole shit's sort of going off and yeah. you know what? I mean, I were role playing and I was like, oh, I looked at the chat. And I'm like, oh, uh, let's let's so handle I, that. I was up there making a, making a sandwich. I'm like, the fuck. <laughs> And then whenever I pop in and pop out chat, I lose all the chat. So I'm like, okay, now I know the command, but I don't know what the fucking spelling of his name was. Um, and I was confused. Yes, it's handy to have moderators when you're the DM, also can control the streaming, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, the, all the things. Um, cool. So uh, interesting stuff happened while you were gone, Adam. Uh, not to our... I was watching... Like, during the uh, spot. Okay. Why, why didn't you? Why don't you just just do it? Just do it. So Kane of Groomsh goes into the Goblin Queen's house. It, it does look like he's healed some of his wounds. Like he's not walking around with eighty nine damage, but he's he's looking pretty beat up. <laughs> this is like, why am I just poisoning this guy right now? Fucking he do he it. does have his he does have his big mace back and his bow. Like he's walking around with his weapons. Yep. He goes into Goblin Queen's house. You fly in through like a chimney flute. Uh, give <laughs> me a percent. Whoa, that looks so good. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go get some food. Uh, you need a perception check? Yes. Okay. Uh, I do get to roll against magical traps if they are around. You could add that bonus. Okay. So, so good. It was such a, like, the optimal, like, and now we talk about our evil plan! And it's like, yeah, this would be when you would talk about the evil plan. Oh, that's, this guy's important? Don't touch him for seven days, you say? Yeah. Hmm. I will kill some of you if you fuck it up. Hmm, that sounds like fun, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, it's going to be great. Uh, so, Marty, uh, never a rogue with this talent comes... I have Trap Spotter. It comes with a 10th year. I'm telling you to roll a percep perception check versus traps. Okay. <laughs> As you're flying down the chimney. Uh, 17. Okay. You set off a trap as you're flying down the chimney that is supposed to catch, like, imps and shit from spying on the house. Yep. So, um, the trap is going to whoosh, close on you. Big, like, big freaking jaws. They're supposed to get winged creatures. AC 23, flat-footed versus traps. Uh, yeah, let me check. AC. It's my, my armor so have my, a thing. Yeah. My armor doesn't apply, does it? Uh, your wild shape, so your armor does not apply. Okay, so 
That's four, five, six, eighteen, six, twenty-four. So that's seven. So ten plus seven. Uh, nineteen. Uh, what else am I adding here? Ten plus dex plus natural armor. I think that's it. Oak, so you From don't need dex. So. Hmm. You're a rogue of fourth level. Yeah. Yeah. So you have uncanny dodge. Yeah. Seventeen. Okay. Plus so these. Ni it's nineteen. It these is. snapping jaws hit you. It does. Uh, 11 damage, and then a CMB check of 27. Ooh, not good. CMB check of 27. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to get me. Okay, so basically you're trapped. So you're, you're trapped inside. You're trapped inside of like these this bear trap like jaws. Phone to call in Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, inside a chimney flute, like if you grow big, this is going to be really bad. Uh, and you're trapped inside of these jaws, and you can also hear like down below in the chimney in, in the chimney flute a bell going ding ling ling. Every time you move a little bit, there's a little little bell going ding ling ling. Okay. Escape artist out of this. They they know that imps are everywhere, thanks to uh, thanks to. Um, uh, uh, Lord, Demon Lord Nemi coming up with the idea of imps just everywhere. Uh, yeah, it, they've got an imp problem on Empirica. Question, uh, could I disable device on this thing? You do not have hands as a no. bat, and you don't have your tools. So you could attempt to disable device, I would say, at a minus 10. I'll escape, I'll escape artist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the bell, the bell down below, like there's a cord going off of it. Uh, every time you jiggle in <laughs> in this fireplace, let's see if somebody hears the bell. Twenty seven. Most of the goblins are away, however. You hear this voice down below going, "Damn imps!" Uh, does twenty seven escape? 27? Uh, yeah, you, you spend the... You managed to wiggle your way out. All right. Um, it does 11 you, 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 damage, you, you, you do, Yeah, you do hear somebody, like, lowering the trap. <laughs> like, you can hear chains moving, and, and like, and, and the trap is being lowered down below. Damn imp! <laughs> You're lucky the fire doesn't work against you. I just smoke uh, you out of there. Let's see oh. what I got. Let's see what we got. Bassy bass. Um, this goddamn bat's gonna pop up. <laughs> uh, well, you, you got out of the trap. You're you're kind of you're flapping trap. around, but you're in a chimney flute. Give me a fly a fly check as you're trying to like like hover. DC twenty uh, to, DC twenty to uh, uh, hover. No one just fly straight up. Yeah. Can I get under the walls? 25. Okay, you manage to hover in, in spot while you're trying to figure it out, and then you just fly you fly out of the chimney again after having set up the trap. There's there's some there's some servant that's really upset that he didn't actually catch an imp. Okay. And, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna find a way into this place. No doors or open windows or anything like nothing open. You're you're flying around. You could go up to one of the windows. Yeah, not go in. Just check it. Okay, you're flying around. You're checking the windows. Uh, a few minutes pass, and you can hear the front. This door is all open. stealth. Yeah, the the front door opening again. Okay, and that's uh, big boy. Big boy who is not looking injured anymore. He's got a full quiver of arrows. Okay. Yeah, let's follow him. And he and he's got a ca he's got a cask underneath his uh, um, underneath his arm. Okay, let's follow this guy. Okay, he's heading back towards the cave. More and more okay. goblins are flocking to the cave. You've probably guessing there there are at least three hundred goblins now with bows and swords. Hmm. Nice to poison him. 
Kane returns to the side of, of Mama Bloodbear, who's still waiting there. I don't know if you're going into the cave or not. Um, sure. Let's just, well, we're not going to go in far. It's going to see if any... Eh, <laughs> I guess Firestorm her. into the cave. Yeah, if only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was thinking, that's, that's really what I was just thinking, like, <sighs> oh. Firebomb, 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 okay. firebomb. Uh, the Goblin Queen uh, just just nods. Don't drink too much of that. Mm. Kane doesn't say too much. All right, beasties, I'm going back home. Let me know if there's any problems. Yes, Queen, goodbye. As the uh, as the ogres uh, um, basically, she rides back on the palanquin as these two slack jawed ogres are driving her back. What are you doing now, Sid? I want to know where her room is. Okay. Um, I'm from outside. Like she's gonna go in the house and then go. Yeah, the ogres. Somewhere. The ogres set down the palanquin. There's some guards that come out. Um, not really guards, like more like servants. They open the door. You can see this one. This one old man. He's got the um, the trap that you were in in his hands. Goblin, right? These are they're all goblins. Or... Uh, he is not a goblin. It is a man yeah. with a bald pate. It's a man. Okay. Ah, uh, prepare a bath. It has been a long and trying day. Um, my my queen. Y yes. What is it? I mean, the the door is closing as they're disappearing into the into the building. Okay. Uh, this has been interesting enough. Sid's gonna head back. Okay, nursing his wound. <laughs> Ooh, you got traps, traps they have. I got traps. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sid goes flying back to the manor. Um, the the wine, the wine, the wine drinking is in full swing. Um, Sid Sid flaps back into uh, into the upper area. Phineas is locked behind his quarters. You can see Nem. You! You must be Sid! If you are another bat, I'm going to tell the master! <laughs> yeah, it turns into Sid. Hey, Nem! <laughs> hi, hi, hi! Yeah, hi, Nem. Where's Joker? He's he downstairs Joker. watching everyone drink, pretending to drink himself. <laughs> he's watching me. Wa he's watching me watch them not drink. <laughs> um, I don't think he likes the wine. Good man. Good. Good snake. Good snake. Mm. Meet the other masters. This is interesting. Interesting. It be. <sighs> Ow! <laughs> this is like elbows got like a. Group, You're like a... Yeah, I set up a trap. <laughs> it's bad. Sid. Sid's bad at that. You can't see many traps. Might I offer you some polite advice? Don't get caught in traps. <laughs> How did yeah. you know what I was going to say? Are you reading my mind? Yes. <laughs> he scampers away from you. <laughs> can't wait until Nen reads minds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... <coughs> I'll be such a pit fiend and I want to make you set a contract and then oh Yeah, you can see Magnus is laughing, Sonya's sitting on his lap, they're they're drinking and hollering. Um yeah, Damien uh, Van Imp is is got a stick in his hands and he's talking about sword play with Sona. Sona just seems to want to be drinking his wine, but he's putting up with the kid. Um Good on you, neutral good Sona. <laughs> <laughs> Prentice is drinking. Who's Prentice talking to? Sure, Nobody. We'll be Probably Choka. Close enough to speak with him. Okay. Uh, Nem is very vigilant. He's he's making sure there are no other imps in in the uh, um, imps that he can see, anyways. Uh, in the Ludus. Uh, Prentice sees that Ashoka is watching him and doesn't doesn't do anything much. Fester and Fester and Lowell just serving drinks while Durham the Dragon Feeder is cleaning out 
um, Prentice's cell. I'm so happy that you're all enjoying yourselves at my expense. This is the end. Shoka will just raise his glass like it was that was a toast. Yep. Uh, the, yeah, uh, uh, Magnus is actually not drunk. Not drinking that much. Can the fleas, the fleas show you music he's preparing? <laughs> fleas is still training to be a bard. Yeah, hey, come, on. yeah come on, fleas. <laughs> what you got? Fleas, fleas is a bard, oh, but he okay. doesn't have any right. musical performances. He only has comedy. Got it. So he's going to... So they keep making him play drums, but... <laughs> <laughs> he, he brings he brings out the drums. Uh, give me a perform check for Fleas. Perform <laughs> drum. He, he's going to insist on doing the drumming circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke in and of itself. <laughs> uh, eight. <laughs> yeah, it's just... People are ignoring him. And, it's uh, just noise. <laughs> <laughs> Droll actually just reaches out and makes him stop a <laughs> clawed hand on the drum. <laughs> Akka does kind of slide in beside Ashoka while he's drinking. He enjoys the wine, but but he yep. he hasn't hung out with Ashoka for a while. He he just just gives you a nod when when if you turn and look at him. Yeah, but Ashoka pours him more wine. Okay. He, he seems happy at that. Uh, sense motive. He misses you. 20. Something's on his mind. He's not saying, though, while there's a gathering. Yep. Okay. Ashoka will take note to speak to him later when it's less, you know, yep. a crowd. Vigo, you can hear him over say, just, just sort of like, oh, I like your drumming, is what he says. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it is uh, it's very. Uh, it's a no beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so Sid is, uh, Sid is waiting. Um, eventually, you, you waited for the Masters, and then Nem comes back. The Masters did not come here yet. Do you want Nim to go and politely ask them to leave the fun party to come up here to talk to you, bug eyes? Sorry, that last part wasn't very polite. <laughs> no, it's true. I like it for perception. I see perceptions, and and I could have used that, but I can't. Ashoka, Ashoka will stand up from the table and go speak to Sid. Yep. You, you go inside where the masters are. I don't know if you're pulling Magnus away or not. No. The less I... Magnus knows, the better. <laughs> Nim's aura of politeness already summoned the Shoka for you. Yes. <laughs> All-powerful all Nim. All-powerful Nim. Mm -hmm. Yes. He oh, whispers yes. to Ashoka. Like, pulls, pulls you in and whispers. Okay. Some interesting things happening at the Goblin Cave. Nem's kind of moving closer to listen. <laughs> <laughs> he, he grabs Nem and pulls him in close. <laughs> ah, part of the inner circle! Oh, <laughs> yes. Interesting things happening at the Goblet Cave. Apparently, they're going to raise the dwarf again. And he must stay protected for seven days. He's very vulnerable. They don't want him to die at all, because if he does, it will ruin their plans. What the fuck those plans are, I don't know yet. Yes, yes, great question. Great question I'll indeed. I'll find out as soon as I get through their traps. Acid, <laughs> <laughs> oh. acid, acid, acid. About three or so hundred of them, including so the champion. Do you want to disrupt Shitbeard's resurrection? <laughs> or do you want to My use this opportunity to spy upon the rest of their facilities? Well, I'm going to use this to spy on their facilities and then disrupt his resurrection. 
stop seven buys days. it. Exactly. Perhaps find where the treasury is. And uh... not a single word to the others. <laughs> That includes you, Nim. Not a single word to the others. Yes. Nim will catch... not is here to pretend to know what you're talking oh, about. Or catch an arrow to the throat, you might. Yes. It is very polite. Mm. So. Very polite. Okay, I think we're gonna. Call... It, which is one thing. They plan on taking, on finding out the strength of Magnus. If he's too high of a strength, they might take action against you legally so be careful what's it blooded my fucking ass <laughs> <laughs> one last thing that we need to do for this gladiator turn comes to a close this eighth week of spring. random is is there a random event Percentile 20 or lower, there is a random event. There is no random event. The percentile, the percentage goes up to 30 for next, uh, next turn. Um, are there any Ludises that reach out to you to set up a fight? Let's see. Let's see, let's see who's friendly towards you right now. We reject the ask for the fight with the unblooded gladiator from these <laughs> the, the pirates. <laughs> right, no. the pirates are <laughs> the pirates are being assholes. Yeah, um, we don't even open their letters anymore. We just throw them in the fire. <laughs> all right, who is friendly with no, the conclave of Crimson Sands? Um, the Guild of Beast Tamers are friendly. They're helpful. Maeve's Fighting School. And the Commissar of Games. Hmm. Uh, the, on that, uh, yeah, the Commissar is get, getting paid. I'm going to go get something to eat. I'm an hungry, hungry, hungry boy. I recommend uh, grilled cheese sandwiches with turkey inside. Okay. Take some um, you do honey, receive yogurt, and cakes. You do receive a package from the civilized house of the Grim Gob Goblin. Uh, it is the money that they owe you. 20k baby paid oh. paid to you in um uh paid to you in talents there okay. is a letter that is among amongst them oh what does it say <laughs> fuck you very much We, it is from the Queen, it says, We find it difficult to deal with those who are dishonorable. You've been warned? journal we might want to put this in the journal uh there was also a question. i don't think i don't think we're keeping a journal for this one but uh do you have like do we have a journal party paper we don't have no. a journal no, no. Uh, what happens when sending starts happening uh so <laughs> um yeah. there was a question i was having a discussion in the chat with i think it was lucas um yeah they yes uh Oh, that, that, Lucas, you got the response so nailed down to a T, but um, the uh, the bet. Uh, do we have to have the dragon fight the goblin the first time? Still, or is yeah, it only if we lost? Yeah, that that was part of the that was part of I the. Thought contract. that was a requisite to have the fight. Yeah, that's part yeah. of the contract. Yeah. Okay. So that's probably where they'll try to get us back. Um, <clears throat> the response will be, <laughs> "Hello, meow, 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 meowly, meow, meowly." 
Somebody you know. likes cats. <laughs> <laughs> I like cats. <laughs> uh, I don't have one. I have three. I have, Interest- I have three cats. Interesting, or the um, the decision made for the footing of the fight appears to have not been in your favor. Unfortunate that if we were dishonorable, we would have killed your champions. Okay. Here's a little bit of back and forth. I've already updated on my crazy sheet of who likes whom. The, that's Ooh, sort of like, the big yeah, matrix. You're, you're, see, you're feeling that uh, your relationship with the House of the Civilized Grim Goblin is, might be on uneven footing at this point. Well, they're the Goblin House. Of course it's not yep. great. It's kind of like the pirates. <laughs> we have a heart for me to consume. My heart only has one cockle left, so it wouldn't be much of a meal. Um, <laughs> That falls more like a bad dick, because every Lutus here is a dick. Yes! They're competing! <laughs> they're competing the biggest... for money and, and uh, prestige, and they all have their who's own... the hardest dick in the bag? The biggest dick in the bag. I don't know. All right. A a... Yeah. Um, that was... I rolled randomly to see which Lutus sent you some sort of correspondence, and mm-hmm. it was it was the Civilized House of the Grim Goblin, which basically, they didn't say that the rest of the deal isn't off, but they're, they're telling you outright that you've been warned. That's fine. Yeah. They could, they could, they could feel up... Of course. In fact, of, the, of our, like, big wins, this is the first one where they weren't like, fuck you and die! <laughs> Could have been, could have been, like, it could have been much, much worse. Yeah, um, they were quite polite. Well, that went well. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a beating heart. Oh no! Uh, I'm gonna switch to desktop mode so we can go to our wonderful spreadsheets where we are looking at our gladiator turns, gladiator management. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right here. So, here is the gladiator sheet. You need to plan out your next. Uh, your next turn there guys so Ashoka, yes. what, are, what are you doing in the next uh, in the uh, next uh, week question um, mm. uh, is uh, Boyo uh, leveling yeah Who? Sona. oh Sona uh, I need to do a quick check here yeah because that was let's see you fought oh, a... oh, we also didn't do the um, fatigue however we're doing fatigue oh yep uh, just roll a will save and a fort save for Prentice and Sona. Okay. And then only a fort save for Magnus. Because <clears throat> he, he does not get dissuaded no, by cause, my... No, because it's like you're the player and I'm not going to make yep. your guy, like, depressed. Unless you want to. Unless you... No, but Magnus likes okay. to play. Uh, okay. Sona gets a 26 on his fort save and a 16 on his will save. Okay, he is not tired nor discouraged. Apprentice. Oh, your save sucks. The biggest. 14 on his fort save. 12 on his full save. Okay, Prentice's body, he is fatigued. And how much on his? 12. 12? Okay, his morale goes down to just normal. 15 okay. for Magnus. Magnus, you just made it. You, you are not fatigued. So you could technically fight without... Uh, all right, uh, a CR eight, a CR five, and a CR. What was the uh, the two ogres or two CR threes? A couple of CR. What are they? Halves or uh, the CR something for the big friggin' trap that we fought in? Yeah, uh, I'm. It, it was a two D six fall with spears at the bottom. We'll call it a CR four. Um, for that obstacle. It's one of those like. We so use that terrain against them because they couldn't just mob up and all attack all the time. But right, if we didn't have the long arm stuff, that would have been really bad. Mm-hmm. All right, and a little bit for role playing. So the XP, um, this is just to figure out if what XP so, Sona, if Sona and needs Prince to be trained. Is, right. Yeah. So uh, the amount is thirty six hundred. Let's go to uh, Prentice's total. Holy crap. And let's go to Sona's total. And then we will flash the XP um, on slow advancement. You need for fourth level, 14,000. Sona's 1,100 away. 
and Sir Prentice so Pennywise. So I hear there are rats in the basement to kill them. <laughs> Sir Prentice Pennywise is six level, and he's going for seventh. He needs fifty three thousand, and he's at thirty nine. Perfect. We do 000. not want him to get seventh. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Good. It just because we have to know for training. Yep. Um, um, so I've added I've added Sona and Prentices. I still have to add the XP from last game for Arlen and Sam and Ugg and all them. I'll do that uh, later. And then Magnus's XP happens at the end of the night. <clears throat> okay, cool. What are you guys doing for your for your turn? It was very very <clears throat> close uh, for a uh, for a level. Well, uh, we nice. have nice one more voice. fight for our. Ooh. Uh, the gladiators need one more fight aside from Prentice I think we're retiring Prentice for the rest of the season um, just a Prentice in a winnable fight you can put him in another fight All right. uh, are we doing the gladiators first or the uh, the uh, owners uh, I think we should do the gladiators first because then we can figure out uh, yeah. okay uh, actually uh, the uh, actually Magnus what is Magnus doing are you training gladiators or are you <clears throat> um, Magnus would like to get another feat retrain. Oh, just sorry. Does okay? Question. On six, on six level fighter, do you get to retrain one of your feats? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Then not case. Don't worry about it. Do it six. Magnus is going to train his. Uh, oh, Magnus is going to train his Gladys, but he also wants to talk with uh, Sonia and what's her name regarding setting up a match. Okay. Uh, we'll do that at the start of the turn. Yep. Uh, yep. But he'll, he'll train his gladiators for the, for the rest of the time. Okay, so he's doing master training. So he gets mm -hmm. to add his dice, which are more than five now. His, your effective dice are... Seven. Seven. It's easy. What yeah. is Ashoka doing? You're spying? Or gathering info? Ashoka needs to... We need to be more friendly towards or know more about how these fights are getting set up around us. Like, how, we need to learn what that mechanism is. Yes. That are making it so we show up and we're like, the fuck is going on here? So uh, we need to... I think that's through the, 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 the manager of the games guy, the... Um, Dimitri? Use Mark's character for that. What's his name? The kid, D Damien. Well, Damien's doing the contract. Yeah, contracts will spell out everything. We should have everything spelled out in the contracts. We should, we should have uh, said... D d Ashoka wants to spend <laughs> this turn d diplomancing the... Uh, Yo, Mealy! Thanks for following. <clears throat> and oh, they're just ducking up the shitbeard resurrection. Oh, yes, that is a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Sid's doing. <laughs> you you are actually a sabotage, basically? You're going to do some sabotage? Sid? Yeah. Yeah, Sid's going to uh, try to so kill... Ash Ashoka's going to diplomats. Diplo, you're gonna try to make friends with somebody. Uh, I want to make Dimitri. I want to be closer to Dimitri Vasco to figure out what the mechanism is for. Okay. The setting cool. up the weird terrain and stuff. Damien's gonna continue to explore the city, so O for other. Uh, Phineas is gonna continue crafting because that is what he do uh, when on auto mode, on autopilot crafting. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for creating the crafter. <laughs> uh, so uh, diplomance, uh, Diplo with uh, commissioner. Uh, Magnus is training. training. Yep. Cra uh, Phineas is crafting. I Sid is it's... sabotaging. Damien is Sabotage! exploring. Zed is training the dragon. Okay, your gladiators. Sona? Uh, Sona, I th think, is... His morale is low? Sort of? Uh, he is... No, he was good. His morale could have been improved, it's just it's not, you know, it's zero. In the middle. Uh, Sona is going to aid in arcane training? So he's going to perform training himself? He's going to train fleas. Okay. I could learn how to bard. <laughs> uh, is that alright, or is that... Yeah, no, he, he, he yep. you've, you've, he's, he's excelled at doing duties that are not him. So the green ones are the master's duties. Yep. So he, he has okay. spent time, yeah, yeah. he has spent time doing entertainment duties and training, 
So yeah, he 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 likes the fact that you trust in him. Oh mm -hmm. yes. Uh, Droll is, I think, getting trained in ability scores. Yep. Which ability score? Uh, his strength. strength? What level yep. is he? Or sorry, his uh, is it strength or is it your dex? Let me check Droll. I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's a uh, strength. level 3, uh, and his ability scores are 79 out of 84 right now. Yeah, strength. Strength is odd. Dex is even. Okay. Train strength, 0 to 3. How many points are you doing? Uh, Two. You can only go up one point, right? Well, yeah, but he, it'd be to, to put at least three on it. Okay. Mm. Drain? Okay. What's going on with him? Uh, Drain... He is your archer? He is the yeah. archer. He also needs ability scores. Um... <clears throat> Hold on, give me a sec. Drain's my guy. Good old Drain is going to do... Um... A chaotic neutral, worshiper of Obed High. Can we, do, we can't do two. con. We can only do no, strength. No, because we have dex and strength. Shit. Um, his strength is odd. Be nice to round that off. Uh, you well, if if you plan out his ability scores, yeah, um, no. you would want to put his base uh, dex up to eighteen because archer would be either two points into another ability score, to, or it would be one con, one strength. So it would be one con, one strength. So. Dex is what I'm hearing? Uh, do, you want, do you want to round out the strength first? <clears throat> yeah. We'll round out the strength and we'll make him a better bow. Okay, he needs two, he needs two successes. How many dice are you putting towards it? You've got Put um, Magnus is seven plus... Uh, Put four dice? Three from your facilities, so ten dice total. Uh, do we have the trainer still? I think three dice on, on, on uh, drain. <coughs> uh, training. Yeah, we have a personnel, so yeah. Yeah, three. Okay, so total of ten. Uh, okay. So put three on drain. Okay. Prentice, what's he doing? Uh, Prentice... We want to upgrade uh, his he, body. He's getting he, healed. He, he's tired. Yep. So the medicus, the medicus and, and he's the only one with the religion that lines up. So four hit dice on him. Four die on him for, for the medicus. Alright. He is being healed. Okay. Bull. Bull. I think he has strength that we're going to do. Or... Yeah, bull needs strength. Yeah. Can we also get a con training? Oh, we have to upgrade the thing, and we can do that. I just don't know. We have to figure out with Marty. Yeah, uh, you can upgrade it, but for um, for that week, your training facilities won't be available. Right. Well, okay. that 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 training facility, right? Uh. <laughs> Dance is in a corner. So, spreadsheets, just give us a second. We'll be done with spreadsheets in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> they are managing their ludus. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's train Bull's strength for now. Um, I think it's odd. Uh, yeah, that's why. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Zero out of four. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and give him. Three, I guess. Kind of the in the kind of the pattern. Okay. Uh, fleas will get uh, Sona's all of it. <laughs> Sona's effectiveness is right now is four. So okay, you will get four uh, dice Arcane to get that one. Forget four. He's, we've been training that level like three times. <laughs> four fleas. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Aka is going to train strength. Uh, there's like one training point left. Um, okay, T1. Let's, yeah, I, I guess the, the, the gladiators need to, to take precedence. Vanu. Vanu is going to get a... <clears throat> entertainment, I suppose? <laughs> He's putting all your entertainment on the guy you don't like. <laughs> well, 
I don't know. Well, so Ashoka is going to kill that guy, but he's going to sacrifice him to something. But we have to get a reason agree. to sacrifice him. We have, well, yeah, we have to get our, our third fight for everybody else. So, yeah, we have to put all of our like our the gladiators we want on sick leave for that end of the year fight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll figure out a way. Uh, so, Venu... Um, uh, although the morale of both Old Vigo and Dren is pretty bad. Yeah, they just got, they just got sold. <laughs> yeah, let, like, let, let Venu rest. Your, your, your entertainment facilities are uh, five right now. Five dice. Okay. Um, so he's just going to rest? Yeah, he'll rest. He hasn't done anything. He trained a little bit, then he rested, then you whipped him because he was being being difficult, and then he rested, then you gave him all this entertainment for no reason, then he rested. <laughs> he, he hasn't had much of a much to do. No wonder he's fucking lazy. For, <laughs> for 45 days, he hasn't done anything. <laughs> oh, funny. Old Vigo and Dren, you guys are trying to make these guys happy? <clears throat> Wow. <laughs> R- Randomly is, is being snarky about <coughs> eating. Other behavior. than Dex, Old Vigo, everything is odd. <laughs> Ahmed munching munching on chips without muting his mic is honestly half oh. the reason I come to the stream anymore. Oh, random. Hi, right, guys. <laughs> uh, so that last happens. cockle, you're almost killing it, man. <laughs> we have to do something about our temple. Uh, what we have to do with the temple is fire the priest and get a new one of a better religion. Um, but uh, that'll be an interesting conversation. I, I hear this murder guy is pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the entertainment, we'll split the entertainment across the, the Vigo and the Dren. Okay, um, five divide by two. So two for Vigo and uh, three for Dren. How's Venu doing? Eh, fuck Venu. He's gonna die anyways, actually. <laughs> Alright. Miserable bastard. I was whip him for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just to beat him some more. This guy. <laughs> uh, He's evil. He is evil. Drinking the juice box. Thanks, Are you gonna mute that? What do you... <laughs> 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 Not annoying at all. Uh... <laughs> Okay, that looks like a that looks like a turn that has been planned out. Um, do we uh, do we have any dice remaining? Uh, there are lots of we we, we have a bunch of different dice. types of dice remaining. Yeah, training. Well, look do at you your money, training? guys. You guys are at like fifty-four you know, we, we, talents. Yeah, we, no, we have to spend some money. We have to spend money. Yeah. Right, because you have to spend money to make money. Um, Wait, how are we at 54? We had... We just won 20. No, we had 15, and then we made 30, so 45. Right? And then we made 20. Should we be at 65? Am I missing something? We also spent a bunch of money. Go to the ledger. Okay, that's fine. Go go to the ledger. Look how expensive it is to run a freaking Adam, place. Adam, what are you doing? <laughs> I want to see a fucking coin. <laughs> <coughs> this is right. bullshit. I'm gonna audit. Ashoka is um. Call my friend as an accountant. Ashoka is uh, so going to spend time with the com- uh, commissioner, and you're going to sabotage. Need to upgrade the apprentice. Da da da. Abode. T- 10 o'clock on a Saturday is probably not the, the time for my door out onto the street to be open, but that's okay. Uh, so, gate. upgrading the Prentice uh, accommodations. Yeah, like... Um, okay. 200 gold, maybe? So, right now, it, like, is that the dungeon? Or... <sighs> so, you're upgrading the dungeon to be a special place? Well, or... <laughs> you know what? This... You, you could make a separate area, like, your... Uh, the facilities for your champion, kind of like you've got a special room that j- that's the champion's house, kind of thing. That's fine. That we can easily lock and make keep secure. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so you're, you're, at, you're adding nice. luxurious uh, champion quarters or something like that. Right, and we're going to put Prentice in them. Okay. Luxurious 
um, champ.